Hi, this is Kyle with Back for App, and today I'm going to walk you through how to migrate an app from Parse.com to Back for App. Let's start by logging into Back for App. If you don't have an account, you can simply click on Sign Up and complete the sign up process. No credit card is required to sign up. Okay, let's go ahead and sign in. After signing in, click on the green button that says Migrate Parse App. The migration process consists of four steps. First, we create your database and parse structure. Secondly, we replicate your database on back for app. Third, we migrate all of your keys from parse. And lastly, we will point your app to back for apps API address using the parse SDK. Okay, let's get started. Click on the start button. To create your infrastructure on back for app, you will need your app ID and app name. You can get this information from your Parse account. Log into your Parse account and then click on the app you'd like to migrate. Go to App Settings in the sidebar. Under the General section, you can find your app name located under App Information. Copy the app name and paste it into the app name form on back for app. Next, go back to your Parse account and click on Security and Keys. You can find your application ID under App Keys. Similar to the app name, copy the app ID and paste it into the app ID form on back for app. Now, click on Next. At this point, your Parse server and database structure are already on back for app servers. Now copy your new database URL and go back to your account on parse.com. Once again, go back to general under app settings. Now find migrate to external database under the app management section and click on the button. Paste your new database URL into the box and click begin the migration. This is the most critical part of the migration process. Parse will copy all of your data to back for app and point the Parse API to your new database. You next need to test your app to ensure everything is functioning properly. Once you confirm everything is functioning, go ahead and click finalize. Okay, now your app is functioning using parse.com API and back for apps database. Now go back to back for app and check the I completed and tested my database migration box and click next. Now we need to copy your parse keys over to back for app. Go back to parse.com under the app settings section, click on security and keys. Copy all of your available keys and paste them into the appropriate location on back for app. Okay, last one. After you've pasted all of the keys, click next. Okay, the migration process is almost finished. This is the back for app API address. You need to update your app with the new API address. Click on the gray box to update your app. The instructions to update your app should pop up. For example, let's assume you have an iOS app. Click on the link for iOS app instructions. First, download and install the latest SDK version. Now, you need to update your code. Below, you can see the updated code. Just simply copy and paste to your app's source code. Congratulations! You've now completed the migration process. Click on the Finish button and then review all of your new app details on the screen. Using the image provided, you can quickly visualize the change in your architecture. You now have an existing app pointing to a Parse API and a development app pointing to a back for app API. 
We recommend you publish your app as soon as possible as partial shutdown at DayPI in January 2017. Let's take a look at your migrated data. Open your Parse dashboard on Back for App and click on Browser under the Core menu. Then go to Parse.com account and click on the same link. We can now see that our employee class with two rows is the same on both Parse.com and Back for App.